tell y'all motherfuckers something. I don't know what this is about. I don't understand how that shit was from Wuhan, China. Now all of a sudden the global pandemic of this deadly disease, it's spread to all corners of the world and it's affected everyone in some way, shape or form. Now what's crazy is that this virus, it's a great equalizer. Now it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, your gender, your social status, your religion or your location. Anyone can become infected and the biggest stars in Hollywood, they're all taking precaution. Now President Donald Trump, he has taken a test and the results, they came back negative, but some haven't been so lucky, like the wife of Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Now other celebrities, they've taken to social media, encouraging their millions of followers to stay home and stay safe. See, the important thing is that you stay at home because there's a curfew now, okay? No one is allowed out, especially someone that is like 72 years old. After you're 65, you're not allowed at the house anymore in California. So we stay home and we eat here, right? Who knew Arnold Schwarzenegger was such an animal lover? Now, tons of celebs, they've also taken to social media showing off their face masks. This includes Bella Hadid, Gwyneth Paltrow, Lil Nas X, Sway Lee, Floyd Mayweather, Zac Efron, Take Off, The Weeknd, and more. Social media stars are doing their part as well, like the boys of Nelk, they got themselves some hazmat suits. I'm not sure what they're up to, but it looks like they're trying to help out. And Shane Dawson, he tweeted out the following. I don't want to add to the anxiety of the situation, but I'm genuinely spiraling about the virus and I just don't really know how to process all of this. If you're feeling the same, just know it's okay to be worried right now, even if people tell you you're overreacting. Now this is a historic time and with the number of fatalities and those infected continuing to climb each and every day, well, it's just absolutely terrifying. What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael McCrudden back at it with part two of celebrities who have contracted CV. Now the last couple videos we've made on this topic, they've all been demonetized, so we ain't making these for financial gain. We just wanna keep you guys informed. Now I wanna take this opportunity to promote the idea of flattening the curve. Now research suggests that the number of confirmed cases is growing exponentially worldwide with the number doubling every six days. Now, if this continues, hospitals and intensive care units will they'll quickly be overwhelmed, leaving patients without the necessary care. We here, before they're famous, we're working with a skeleton-sized staff and all of us are practicing social distancing. We're also doing strict hygiene and trying our best to stay away from public events. Now, we can all do our part, so sit back, watch some YouTube videos, enjoy your time in quarantine. All right, let's get into this video. And this list, it's in no particular order. First up in the number five spot, we got a close call with Heidi Klum. Now, we first got word that there was concern on set of America's Got Talent, and I can only imagine that Howie Mandel, that guy's losing his mind right about now. That was co-host Heidi, she posted the following video to Instagram. The caption read, like many of you, I also have been sick all week, and unfortunately my husband who returned from his tour a couple of days ago is also feeling ill. To be safe, we're staying apart until we get the results of our virus test back. We don't want to spread germs and risk others getting sicker, even each other. As much as I want to embrace him and kiss him, it is more important to do the right thing and not spread further. These are strange times, but in these moments, you remember what's really important, the people you love and keeping them safe. Social distancing is what we all need to do right now to be responsible citizens of the world. We are all in this together and it is up to us to protect our loved ones and our neighbors and our communities. Please listen to the officials and stay at home if you can and physically distance yourself from other people, especially if you are not feeling well. I see all the beautiful things people are doing for each other all over the globe and that gives me hope. Sending all of you love and positivity and healing vibes. Together we can get through this, but we need to be proactive so that we can all have a bright and healthy future. Now I don't believe Heidi has gotten her test back, but at least she's living the life as if she were infected. I checked out her Instagram stories. It looks like they're having a big party at her house. So she's on isolation, good for her. Howie Mandel, he can sleep a little easier. All right, next up in the number four spot, we have NBA player Christian Wood. Now he's a power forward for the Detroit Pistons. Now in our first list, we spoke about NBA player Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. They are from the Utah Jazz. Now Wood, he scored 30 points in last Saturday's 111 to 105 loss against the Utah Jazz. Now Wood and Gobert, they matched up in the half court 63 times in that game. With five minutes and 51 seconds left, well there was a confrontation between the two in which Detroit's Bruce Brown, he was also involved. 
Now Gobert and Brown, they were issued double technical fouls. Meaning these guys, they got real close to one another. And we all know Gobert, well that guy, he got CV. Now Woods is said to be feeling fine and he's practicing self-isolation. Now the Toronto Raptors, they were the last team to play the Utah Jazz in Salt Lake City before the league was shut down. But the entire team, they have been tested and thankfully, well everyone, it came back negative. So the Raptors, they're still champs and they're all CV free. All right, next up is a man you may not know by name, Lucian Grange, but he is the CEO of Universal Music Group, meaning he's the big boss for artists like Billie Eilish, Post Malone, Nicki Minaj, Kanye West, Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, and more. Lucian Grange, he has been the CEO since 2011 and he's been working for the company for the past 35 years. Now at the age of 60, well, there's more reason to be concerned as elder people, they're more susceptible to the virus being deadly. What's even more concerning is that just a few weeks ago, well, there was a party held in this man's name and all the big CEOs like Apple's Tim Cook and veteran music manager Irving Azoff, well, they were all in attendance. Now it really goes to show you that no one is safe. We wish this man a speedy recovery. Now coming into the number two spot, we have Sophie Grégoire Trudeau. She is the wife of Canada's 23rd Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. She came down with mild flu-like symptoms Wednesday following a speaking engagement out in the UK. Now she has since released a statement. Although I'm experiencing uncomfortable symptoms of the virus, I will be back on my feet soon. Being in quarantine at home is nothing compared to other Canadian families who might be going through this and for those facing more serious health concerns. Now, while his wife was being tested, the Prime Minister, he entered 14 days of isolation, but is said to be in good health with no symptoms. Now, he did post a photo to Instagram of his home office where he'll be working for the next couple weeks. It's a pretty big deal when the first lady of a nation can contract this disease. Now, typically you would think those at the top, they wouldn't be susceptible to something like this, but it really goes to show you how contagious and fast spreading the virus is. Finally, in the number one spot, we have a Bond girl. I'm talking about Olga Kurilenko. Now, she played Camille in 2008's Quantum of Solace. Get in. What? Get in. All right. Now this was Daniel Craig's second role as 007 in the sequel to Casino Royale. Now she's also been in the 2013 film Oblivion with Tom Cruise, and she's been in a ton of other big blockbusters, including Johnny English Strikes Again. She released the following statement, I've actually been ill for almost a week now. Fever and fatigue are my main symptoms. Take care of yourself and do take this seriously. Now she was born in the Ukraine, but she also has French citizenship. We wish her a speedy recovery. And the latest Bond film, No Time to Die, well, it was originally slated to come out this April, but it's since been pushed back to November. Basically, everything in the world has been put on hold. Speaking of Bond movies, the man who is rumored to be the next Bond, Idris Elba, well, he has just tested positive for CV. This is like breaking news, so we're just adding it now. His tweet reads, This morning I tested positive for 19. I feel okay, I have no symptoms so far, but have been isolated since I found out about my possible exposure to the virus. Stay home, people, and be pragmatic. I will keep you updated on how I'm doing. No panic. Uh, look... This is serious, you know. Now's the time to really think about social distancing, washing your hands. Uh, beyond that, there are people out there who aren't showing symptoms and that can easily spread it, okay? So now's a real time to be really vigilant about washing your hands and keeping your distance, okay? Um, we've told our families, um, they're very supportive. We've told our colleagues um, and, you know, transparency is probably the best thing for this right now. If you're feeling ill or you feel like you should be tested or you've been exposed and do something about it. All right. It's really important. Now, the news, it quickly hit trending on Twitter and Google. Absolutely crazy. Like, this is nuts. I actually have a feeling this won't be the last one of these videos that I'm going to make. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I need you guys to stay safe out there. This is absolutely crazy. It's historic, but it's uh, it, it's crazy. In Toronto, it's like a ghost town. No one's outside. We're doing what we can here, but we still got to get to work. You got to keep you guys informed. I'm hoping uh, you guys can practice some social isolation. Obviously, we're going to keep making new videos because you guys are just, you know, you're on quarantine, basically. So uh, stay safe. Wash your hands. Do everything you can. I'll see you guys in another video. <coughs> just kidding. Hopefully.